Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Vladimir Prosperiakov and Wei Yi. This game was played in Gibraltar in 2015. Vladimir Prosperiakov had white pieces and he started with e4. Wei Yi played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, g6. What else? Black plays in this position. Black also plays e6 and d6 quite often. But g6 is the most played move. Vladimir Prosviryakov castle kingside. Bishop to g7, rook to e1, knight to f6, e5. Black to move. Way e played knight to d5. Well, knight to g4 is also playable. And after bishop takes, d takes on c6, h3, knight to h6, knight to c3, castling d3, and black can play knight to f5. In the game we have knight to d5, knight to c3, knight to c7. If knight takes on c3, d takes on c3, Castling bishop to g5. White has a faster development. The game may continue like this. Queen to b6. But then bishop takes on c6. D takes on c6. Bishop takes on e7. Rook attacks the bishop. Queen to d6. It looks like that white is standing somewhat better. So we have a knight to c7. Bishop takes on c6. D takes on c6. Perhaps b takes on c6 is also playable, but with d takes on c6, black can get his light squared bishop sooner in the game. Knight to e4, improving the position of the knight and attacking the pawn on c5. Defending, white to move, how would you continue if you had white pieces? Vladimir Prosperiakov played knight to f6, check. King to f8. Well, Wei Yi wanted to keep his dark squared bishop. If e takes on f6, then e takes on f6, discovered check. And after king to f8, f takes on g7. So, Wei Yi played king to f8 and now he is threatening pawn takes knight. Knight to e4, knight goes back to safety and black lost his castling rights. But this is not the end of the story. Black to move, how would you continue? Wei Yi played the bishop to g4, pinning the knight. d3 was played. Well, what else? How to defend the pawn? On e5. If knight goes back, then black improves his position. h3 Bishop takes, queen takes, queen to c7. Looks good for black too. In the game we have d3. Bishop takes on e5. h3, bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop, bishop to g7. Knight to g5. Threatening queen takes pawn on f7. Check mate. Black to move, how to defend the pawn? If bishop to f6, queen takes on c6. f6 is even worse. Then the bishop to f4. And after say king to g8, knight to e6, 
Night takes night, rook takes night. White is better. So, can you find the best move for black in this position? Where he played the best move, coming to d5, defending both the pawn on f7 and the pawn on c6. Why to move? Vladimir Prosyakov surely considered the queen takes on d5 and he didn't like that move. He played rook to e4. If queen takes on d5, then c takes on d5. Perhaps black can capture with knight too, but c takes on d5 improves the pawn structure. Okay, back to our game. In the game we have rook to e4. Black to move. Where he played e5. Perhaps f6 could be next. Why not immediately f6 or h6? If f6, then bishop to f4, attacking the knight on c7. And if now e5, bishop takes on e5. That is why, when he played e5, preventing bishop to f4, h6 or f6 is on the menu. c4, if a queen to g3, f6, and after knight to f3, king to f7. In the game we have c4. Queen to d7. Queen to e2, making the room for the knight on f3. White is on the defensive. Attacking the knight, knight to f3, rook to d8. Black is a pawn up and also has the initiative. g4. Surely Prosveriaku considered knight to e1 and perhaps thought this was a passive move. Black can play then knight to e6 and after bishop to e2, king to f7. Black is better. So we have g4 trying to create a counterplay. h6. Well, it was possible to capture the pawn on d3 with queen. It was. Even after g5, black is better, let's say. Queen takes queen, rook takes only two, then black can play f5, but knight to e6 is even better, and after pawn takes, bishop takes, knight takes on e5, knight to d4. Perhaps white can hope for something, but after king to g8, black is better. But where he doesn't allow any counterplay, he played h6, b4, desperately trying to create counterplay. Queen takes on d3, b takes on c5, b takes on c5, king to g2, f5, pawn takes pawn on f5, pawn takes pawn on f5. Queens are exchanged. Rook to e3. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes rook. Black to move. And to play a winning move. What is the winning move for black? It is not very difficult to find, is it? e4. Double attack. Attacking both the knight on f3 and the rook on a1. Bishop takes on c5 check, king to f7, knight to d4, knight to e6, knight takes knight, bishop takes knight. Knight to f4, black play the move and white resigned. The move is bishop to e5, rook and bishop are stronger than bishop and knight. White resigned. If knight to e2, then perhaps rook to g8 check, and after king to f1, rook to b8. 
if bishop takes on a7, perhaps rook to b1 check, and after king to g2, f4. Extremely difficult position for white. What else? If knight doesn't go to e2, if bishop to e3, then perhaps check again, and after king to f1, rook to b8, a3, rook to b3, attacking the pawn, if a4, rook to a3, white can't capture the pawn on a7 because bishop takes knight. If the knight goes to g2, rook takes on a4, well, bishop can take on h6, but then rook takes on c4, and I guess we can stop here. White has no hope. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.